it looks like things are starting to ramp up for the Volt Army, guys. That's right. As you can see, since the 23rd of May, we have been on an upwards trend now for seven days straight and still climbing. Now, you might be asking yourself, well, what is the purpose for all of a sudden bouncing back seemingly out of nowhere? Well, maybe it has just a little bit to do with some new information that we just recently found out. Qcoin has taken an interest in Volt. Not only that, but we have caught a Qcoin wallet buying Volt, roughly around 166 billion tokens from what I last remember of Volt. On top of that, Qcoin just announced that there's going to be a fireside chat featuring Volt Inu official. That's right, guys. You heard it from Qcoin directly, a deep dive with Volt Inu. And the date is going to be on June the 2nd, tomorrow at 7 a.m. UTC time frame. Let's get into what's been going on. Now, before I begin, guys, please do me a favor and smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Do me a favor, hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell for me, please. And thank you. So, guys, it's good that now we're starting to see Volt wake back up. Originally, I was feeling cool. Once I saw that we hit this floor back in the 22nd of May, we've slowly been trading sideways. But if you notice, we've been slowly moving upwards. Slow and steady wins the race, guys. And especially looking at all these other coins, a bunch of other meme coins as well, that have been taking nasty, nasty hits. It looks like Volt finally caught its support and it's slowly climbing its way up. As we can see, looking down, the buys are outweighing the sells, $2.75 million in liquidity. And if you ask me, sitting at a $38 million market cap, I personally think that it's about time that people that are still holding V2, maybe or maybe not at their choice, but I think it's probably a good idea to start transferring assets over to v3 as you can see other people have already began doing so and we've also been getting accumulation of new holders because now even here the holder count is back up in over 4,000 when it was at the mid to late 3,000s last time we went over this could qcoin be that fire that we're waiting on to get things right back on track because think about it we saw qcoin buying up vault behind the scenes now they come out with a fireside chat a deep dive ama to understand volt inu what could be after that i think a listing is not too far down the pipeline if you ask me and here's another clue look what voltoshi teases with guys what we've all been waiting for he highlighted it hashtag volted three top 10 centralized exchange listings i'm personally still excited to see the Volta equal airdrops like i'm gonna keep repeating that because i'm excited for that one <laughs> above all in my personal opinion with the three top 10 centralized exchange listings now you might be asking yourself well jazz we've been hearing that for over a month now almost two months what's been going on well i'll tell you what's been going on we have been seeing a strange time in the overall markets altogether where we've seen projects that came out the woodworks and without even a month of being in existence have been getting listed on top tier one exchanges now you might look at it from the angle as well how come they could do it but volt can't do it if they've been around for over a year well the way i'm looking at it is well maybe right now is not the exact time or back then wasn't the exact time and i mean back then as in like a couple days ago the last couple weeks etc and getting a top tier exchange because as we can see a top tier exchange hasn't been holding the same weight as we've known for it to do in the past based off of how they just been letting various meme coins just get tagged on just because they're accumulating a lot of volume in a short amount of time. Seeing that Qcoin is now shifting attention over to Vault, what that could mean, and this is all speculation, is that perhaps the tier ones are coming back into gear, coming back into kind of how things should be where tier ones are meant to be earned through diligence building a strong community and it shows that it has a good strong level of support backing it up and maybe that's why they're putting their eyes on vault maybe that's why all the meme coins were in red and vault once again flipped green maybe that's why when we saw the stables and the stables are back in the gutter right now i mean who knows what's going on especially uh, with hong kong just announcing that they're fully into the market as of today which i think is extremely bullish news regardless when the stable started kicking up when eth started getting back into the 1900 volt started coming up 
with it. What does that show? That shows that perhaps, just perhaps, the crazy frenzy we've been seeing of random coins popping out of the blue and going skyrocketing into billions and whatnot could be shifting and the focus could be coming back to utility, strong community-based tokens that have a purpose and also have a lot more safety than a brand new project out the woodworks with not much backing behind it, but just seems to have a lot of volume in a short amount of time. And if the markets are heading in that direction, then I believe that things should be right back on track for the plans that we were all waiting to see unfold. Now, hopefully you didn't jump the gun and jump out of your vault position. I didn't do that. I participated in the meme coin frenzy too. Shoot, I still have a bag sitting right here in RFD. Who knows what's gonna happen? Moon or bust? Obviously, I wanted to moon because I really want to double this vault bag, ideally even triple before this coin takes off, or at least before we even break back into the five zero range. Will it happen? I don't know because vault is on a climb right now as we're speaking, while the rest of the market is sitting still. Vault is getting that revitalization back into it. So let's see what's gonna happen. Let's see how it's gonna play out. Either way. Regardless of what's going on right now, this is still a multi-billion dollar project. And if you don't believe that, then that means that you haven't done enough research into understanding all that Volt has been doing. Remember, guys, this project came out December of 2021. Some of you watching this might have just heard of this project back in February um, when we were first announcing the beginning of the bridge, liquidity burns, and those type of things. Look deeper into that. Understand what type of project this is understand why it's still kicking and pushing no matter how much things try to bring it down no matter how many different cycles in the market we've seen in the last couple of months do some understanding to get why this project still happens to be standing tall head held high and gradually climbing as you can see like i said again seven days straight on an upwards trend impressive stuff you can't ignore it do what you want with that information with that being said, folks, thank you so much for tuning in, guys. I'm Jazz Royce, and like I always say, I'm going to catch each and every one of you guys at the top.